The bar has been set wicked fast. It rocked in the benchmarks. We're going to up the ante uh, a little bit. Processing power. Maybe. I kind of understand this. Hi, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com. And I'm Marco Cipetta for HotHardware.com. And we're here on a sweltering hot day in July. And the hottest day of the year so far, actually. Yep, at uh, Hot Hardware's Connecticut World Headquarters with this week's episode of Two and a Half Geeks on the Road. Yep, we are going to build the uh, Dads and Grads contest system for Lamar Bowen. Uh, we have all of your parts here uh, strewn about on the table. We have parts from MSI and Thermaltake. We've got uh, AMD and Kingston. They're here with us as well. Yep, we have all the goods. We're going to show you how to put together uh, a nice high-end gaming system using all these parts. And as soon as it's all done and it's working, we will uh, get it shipped out and on the way to you. Like Christmas in July. And uh, we've got a quarter geek here with us today as well, my son Michael. <laughs> Is going to help us build this killer gaming beast. Stick with us, we'll show you how it's done hot hardware style. So, what's this? The case is pre wired. Uh, lots of the case is pre wired. You have all the hard drive bays are pre wired. Um, the USB extension cords are already kind of hanging out the back. So, this is the Thermal Take Level 10 GT. Yes, sir. Nice. And we need a knife to cut this. Thing. Just setting up here, folks. Just setting up. The mayhem begins. All right, Lamar, before we start assembling everything, we want to show you all the parts to prove that we actually have them here. So here is the uh, MSI 890FXA GD70 motherboard. A nice socket AM3 motherboard for you. We have a pair of Radeon HD 6070, 6870 graphics cards. We're going to set those up in crossfire mode. 8 gigs of Kingston HyperX RAM. The Phenom 2 X4 980 Black Edition CPU is here, and that little chip is going to get cooled by this behemoth. This is the Thermaltake Frio OCK cooler. It is absolutely gargantuan. It looks kind of like a transformer. The size of that monster. Yeah, that thing is nuts. Uh, we have the uh, Kingston 128 gig SSD for your boot volume. Nice Hitachi 7200 RPM 750 gig hard drive. Your light on DVD burner. And then this big guy here is the Thermaltake Level 10 GT case. Nice. It's just on this side, an absolutely beautiful 1200 watt uh, Thermaltake power supply. You know, Thermaltake really did a nice job here with the nice red racing stripe, uh, partially modular cables. Got to know something about this case too. Look at the back side here. Comes pre-wired, all the SATA cables, right? And a few of the power cables and USB. Yep, SATA backplane is right here. Wires are already kind of run and hanging out the back. Nice. We'll clean them up a little further. And the most important part, a pair of hot hardware USB thumb drives. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And tools of the trade right there, right? That's right. This is all the goods here. We'll probably use mostly the screwdriver and some Velcro ties. <laughs> Lots of luck. We have Marco uh, putting on the custom heat sink mount for the thermal take cooler, that big yeah. mama. You have to take off the stock buddy and put, a, put this mount on there. Yeah. And over here, we got Michael uh, breaking things. No. Um, he is mounting the three and a half inch hard drive, the standard hard drive in the drive bay with some uh, flange screws that go into these rubber grommets to keep the vibration deadening going on. He's about to slide them in the case maybe, who knows. Don't break nothing. All right, so here we have Michael, he's uh, playing with the SSD here, but not really playing, he's working. He's putting in screws. This is the uh, two and a half inch SSD in the three and a half inch bay that does have two and a half inch mount screws, so that's good. And then the backdrop there are AMD Phenom CPU and Kingston HyperX memory. All right, so we had to do a little mod to the motherboard to get the uh, Thermaltake Frio installed here. We removed the stock AMD mounting bracket and put the custom Thermaltake one on here. And we also had to pull off the fans from the cooler to mount the AMD compatible mounting brackets here. This is eventually gonna fit over the CPU. But first, I wanna have our quarter geek, uh, Michael here, install the CPU in memory. He's not a pro at this, but he is an Alta Villa, so it should be no problem. Oh yeah, it's genetic. So all you really have to do is make sure you line up the star, the, the triangles on the corners. You can't really mess that up. And the memory is keyed, so it's really just a matter of plugging them right into the right slots. So Michael's gonna do that right now. Easier if you use your thumbs right in the corners. There's one. The old snap of the memory into the dim socket. And there's two. Thermal grease applied. Just a little dab will do ya. 
mounting said gargantuan heat sink. Look at the size of that cooler. Yeah. Jack was plugging in the 3-pin uh, power fan. So you have power and fan speed control right here. Oh, yeah, very nice. You're going to have to find a place to mount that clean. Thing is mammoth. All right, so here's a look at the thermal take case. Before we install the motherboard, and you just got to love this. Thermal take has these, like, room-sized fans on the side panel, which is right there, the window, right? And then on the top, there's two of these things. What do you think those are, like 300 millimeter fans? 200. 200 millimeter fan, that was close. What's 100 millimeter between friends? So here's a look at the motherboard tray inside the Level 10 GT. Pretty cool feature, actually. The motherboard standoffs are pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about stripping those little cheap brass ones. Um, we're installing a standard ATX motherboard, so we don't have to make any changes. We already have the cooler installed on the board, so we are gonna drop it in. And once I have it in place, I am going to make Michael install all of the screws. Marco is sneaking SATA cables for the SSD and hard drive, or no? Say SSD, hard drive, and optical drive. Okay, so there you go. That cooler is mammoth. Wait, don't these ones have come off? We are extracting I.O. brackets, card slot brackets from the uh, case, making room for crossfire goodness. Soon to come in a PCI Express slot near you. Installing. Installing 6870s. One in. There's number one card. Here is number two card. Number and two. next I have to find the crossfire connector, which is right crossfire here. Crossfire connector. There it is. And there she goes into the crossfire. Edge connector. Yeah, if I can actually find the edge connector. You're all thumbs, man. You're all thumbs. Literally. MSI put protectors over the crossfire connector. Oh, they're That's so they're efficient, doing. high quality, and cool. Yep. Yes. Okay, here they go. Two GPUs and a CPU, ready to kick booty. Uh... Oh, God. Don't quit your day job. So we're at the point where the motherboard, uh, graphics cards, RAM, drives, uh, drive data cables, fans, uh, front panel connectors are all in and everything is plugged in and ready to go. It looks a lot cleaner than it normally would because there is no power supply yet. The power supply cables are typically the hardest thing to keep nice and neat. So we are going to move on to that next. But these are nice though. See this? this these are the rubber grommets that uh, you pass the cables through. It's the back of the case. Everything's out of the way. Neat yeah. and clean. Nice and neat. Okay, so here's a quick little port walk around for the case. We've got a pair of uh, USB 3 ports high and low fan control buttons, as well as a fan LED. E-SATA right up top there, and then down the front edge over here we've got the power button. Let's see, looks like the reset switch. A few more USB ports, hard drive indicator light, and uh, there's our optical drive peeking through the front. Nice case, nicely set up. Hooking up PCI Express power cables onto PCI Express graphics cards. And we will neaten all this up as we go. We are roughing everything in. Roughing it in, and then getting neat. All right, and here we are with the finished product. Marco's good work, and uh, look at that. Power supply, pair of graphics cards, big honking G uh, CPU cooler, and look at the cable management. Just standard in this case. Really nicely done. Good work, gentlemen. Yay! Let's fire it up. So we're ready for a quick dry run. We hit the power. And we have juice. All right, everything seems to be coming on. We don't have a screen hooked up just yet. This is just a dry run here. Nice wanna, and quiet. Yeah, I want to show you something pretty cool with the uh, the fan LED control. Comes on, it's blue by default, but as you cycle through with this button, you have green, red, blinking blue, oh, and blinking green. It's actually cycling all colors. <laughs> Back to blue or off. That is pretty cool. 
So one pretty cool feature on this Level 10 GT, the, uh, the side-mounted fan here doesn't have a cable. There are contacts here on the side of the case that touch the fan contacts here so that when the door is closed, it gets the juice it needs to run. Another cool feature, a removable, cleanable fan filter. Yeah, baby. Nice. So we are installing windows. Let's go back here, you get the power supply peeking through. Nice little illuminated Thermaltake logo there. Pretty nice, and uh, yeah, we're just going to set up a 64-bit Windows 7 Ultimate installation on this in uh, trial mode. But it lives. <laughs> Isabella, is that your computer? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs>